nothing changes. Welcome, my name is Matrius and welcome to yet another Best Unknown Indie Game. It's already February of 2019 and I found some great new games for you. Let's check out the first one I found. The name of this game is Feudal Alloy and it's being developed by R2 Games and also published by R2 Games. Feudal Alloy is an epic adventure game with a fish controlled medieval robot. You start this game as Artu, an ordinary farmer robot who lives in a small cottage in a sunflower field. Artu has been living a pleasant simple life until a bunch of outlaws attacked the village, stole their oil supplies and burned his house. Fortunately he managed to grab his old sword and fled into the woods. This game got fish control, medieval robots, a dynamic action combat system with swords, grenades, dodges and other special attack moves. If that's not enough, it's also got achievements, secret areas and it will be released on almost every platform. So check out the links down below and we'll move on to game number 2. This beautiful looking game is Farm Folks. It's developed and published by Overgrown and for now it's going to be released on Steam. But if they get their goals it's going to be on the Playstation and next to Xbox One and so on. Farm Folks is a farming simulation RPG with a note to the classic Harvest and Moon series. Grow your crops, raise your livestock, build relationships and go on adventures. There is a lot in this game. You start this game by leaving your homeland behind aboard a sterling seafaring vessel gifted to you by your brother. You set out to the open seas with a but only one goal. Your true purpose in life. Well, I guess it's going to be farming, mining, whatever you want it to be in this game. It's got it all. You'll slowly build up your farm, make new friends and discover the beauty of farming. Once the soil is still, the seed is nested firmly into the ground, it's time for some TLC, some tender love and care. You'll water your plants, either by hand or through other means, until each crop has reached its mature and beauty. Then the fun part starts, you get some money and you can do some customization, you can upgrade your farm, you can upgrade yourself, give yourself some different looks, explore the beauty that this land has to offer. It's got every season in the game so you don't need to worry, it's got it all, even fishing, even though I don't like fishing. So what will you do, farm your crops, have some livestock? This game even got a unicorn cow, so you can do everything you want. Check out the link down below and look at their Kickstarter page. They have a lot of information on that page, so check it out. Iron Harvest, developed by King Art Games and also published by them, is going to be released on the PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Iron Harvest is a real-time strategy game set in the alternate reality of the 1920s, just after the end of the Great War. This game is a classic real-time strategy game, lead dozens of different units into battle, carefully utilize cover and blast entire buildings to shred. Take your time to come up with a plan, which covers from the wide range of tactics including the stealth approach, max. Yes, you heard me right, there are a lot of mechs in this game. In this game you are in full control, come on three different factions with over 40 unit times and 9 heroes with all unique abilities. Set up skirmishes and multiplayer matches any way you want. Configure your personal game interface and choose your favorite input controls. Iron Harvest also comes with a strong single player campaign and an intriguing story. The story most comes with over 20 missions over 3 campaigns. Join 9 of the charismatic heroes and their beastly companions in their adventures across Europe. Team up with your friends and master all campaigns side by side. Co-ops mode is also in this game. Conquer your resource points, build up your defenses, that's how this game is going to be set up. 
after this game is being released they are going to update it with free DLC so that's something to be noticed. If you love Command & Conquer or any of the old strategy games this game could be the game for you. You need to set up everything yourself and it got a wide variety of things you can do, tactics you can use. So if you like these kind of games, check out the link down below in the description. It will take you to their website or to their Kickstarter page. I get them both for you. Lined up in the description. The three factions that are going to be in the first game is Polian Saxonite Empire and the Rashefits. The Polian Republic is a large agricultural country with a rich history. The section in Empire is one of the most influenced country in Europe and Rashevich is huge, powerful, has unmatched industry and a population potential. Every faction in this game has its own unique abilities and its own unique units. Check out the link down below, put this game in your wishlist and support Iron Harvest. Number 4 on the list is Crying Sun. When FTL meets Foundation, Crying Sun is a roguelike and tactical game where you explore a dying galaxy as an admiral of a space fleet. As a deep story driven game experience, each successful run will uncover part of the underlying truth about the fall of the Galactic Empire. This game got a lot. Space exploration in a procedurally generated universe, a tactical fight between battleships and their fleet squadrons, more than 300 possible story events and a deep main storyline over 6 chapter. The game starts. After 700 years of peace and prosperity the Galactic Empire has suddenly been shattered into pieces. The Omnis, a godlike machine which did everything for the human master has mysteriously been shut down. Mankind had lost the ability to survive on its own. It's dangerously close to extinction, but somewhere in the far corner of the galaxy is Jehina, a planet of ice and rock and a top secret facility. It is mankind's last chance. You start as a clone of Admiral Alidia Idaho, a weapon fascinated from flesh. Your mission skillfully command a battleship through the Empire now chaotic violent clusters where one wrong move could be your last. If you like FTL and you like Foundation this is a combination of both games. Check out the link down below and try that demo. It's really worth it. And we're getting close to the end of this video. This is number 5. Soundful I should kind of shut up but I do want to tell you about this game. Soundfall is an upbeat action adventure game with music at its main core. Embark on a magnificent journey of friendship and discovery. Sharing the adventures of a lifetime as you dive in the forbidden dungeon, explore fantastic landscapes and undiscover the power of music. You play as Medley, a talented young audiophile mysteriously transported to Symposia, a world where music comes to life. You'll befriend and daring allies, wield powerful abilities and legendary weapons against a heart of malicious adversaries as you race to hold the turn of darkness. If you like the dungeon crawling game and like the music, maybe it even got the ability to put in your own music in this game, cause that would be kinda cool play on your own music and beat the monsters that way. Look it up in the description down below and check out Soundfall. I hope you guys all enjoyed this edition of Best Unknown Indie Games of February 2019. If you do drop a like, drop a comment in the comment box down below and check out the games there. All the links are in the description. If you have not yet already subscribed, please press the subscribe button. It really helps the channel and a little bell to get notified when I put up any more new videos. So I hope to see you all at March edition coming out the 2nd of March. 
My name is Menturis and see you at the next video.